Hi guys, welcome to Make With Me Monday. My name is Robin French Smith. I'm one of the moderators on this page. If you don't know, now you know. Today, I am making some bath bombs. So, uh, I have my dry ingredients mixed with my wet ingredients. I have everything but my citric acid ready. And I'm gonna pull and sift that really quick. And then I'll be ready to go. The question today is, I'm going to do, I'm going to be using these, um, oh, this is heavy. I'm gonna be using these like cube molds from Chunk of Dust. And they all have like different letters. So I have two words I'm planning to spell out. So the question is, should we make, one's gonna say, one set's gonna say sweet, the other one's gonna say salty. So the question is that, should we make the sweet or the salty live? That's the question. That's it, that's my entire question. It only, it affects the uh, fragrance and it affects the color, so that's why I ask colors, because I plan on doing more than one color. So if you don't sift your, um, your citric acid, you get these little chunks in it. It's very frustrating. And I use, um, the yellow bag, Younger Bun Lots or something. Younger Buns, I use that, uh, which is, it's a really good quality citric acid, but I still will have it chunk up a little bit, if I'm not careful. So just gonna pull this and we're, we'll split it, and I'll add some colors to it. Salty. Uh, yeah, I like that, Jamie. I mean, I like I. I tend to prefer salty anyway. I think it's. I tend it, I crave salty foods too, so that does tend to be my preference anyway. Like I'd rather have two helpings of my entree and just skip dessert. That's that's where I stand on that. Unpopular opinion, perhaps. Okay, so let me split this. And uh, this, the rest of it that's left, I can actually just, I've, I've let it sit overnight. If I cover it, I can let it sit for a couple days actually. So, um, I mean, I don't wanna let it go too long, right? Even though it doesn't have citric acid in it, it has cream of tartar in it. And cream of tartar is um, an acid, so it is gonna slightly start that whole process of things getting combined with each other. So, but there's a small window where you can do this and you can kind of walk away from kind of a, it's not like, it's like, it's not like master batching. It's like, kind of like master batching though, sort of. Okay, so, I see salty, I only see salty, but it's for salty. So then I'm gonna use a uh, salty siren from Muddy Soap Co. Seems appropriate, right? I'm gonna give that a little mixy mixy. Okay, so for salty then, the colors I'm thinking are like golden, yellow, and red. How does that sound? I like the way that sounds. So I think we're gonna do it. So um, actually whenever I use yellow in a batch, I actually add, um, I use lakes. I prefer lakes in my batches, but I actually add a little bit of dye as well 
and I prehydrate my dyes in a little dropper bottle so I can just drop a few drops in there. So that can get things going. And then I'm gonna add my citric acid to it. that's still mixing and um oh yes yeah, so let me show you these let me show you these letters so that um <clears throat> heather manzano from chunk of dust has these like this set of cubes and i got it in like january and i haven't done much with them but i wanted to do them today and try to play with them a little bit um i'm gonna add just a scoop of yellow five lake into here let that kind of mix in <clears throat> so so yeah so basically you get all these cubes it has the different letters and you can like swap them out you know and like create your own words oh you're supposed to be recording too sorry hold on my bad. You can't face ID. I'm down here, dude. So I have like, I've, I've tried to upload the Make With Me Mondays to YouTube and I've gotten one to upload. The problem is that it's, the, the problem lies, I believe, with my laptop. So like after a live, I could theoretically go onto my laptop, download the video, and then upload it to YouTube. Theoretically, that's how it should work. But like, my laptop will go all the way through, like, download so X, Y, Z, so much of it, and then it'll just stop. It'll also tell me like, it's four hours to download this, this video. Which is like crazy because when I did the one video that I uploaded, it was like 10 minutes to upload it. So I don't know what the deal is. Like, oops, we're not done with this. So I don't know what the deal is. I don't know why it's like that. Um, it's irritating though because I would like to get these, you know, on, um, on YouTube as well so then it's easier to find them because like right now you have to search my name or you have to search make with me Monday so it's you know it's whatever um, okay so let's let's tear this scale out and then see how much mix I have and then split that okay hold on 550 75 math um so yeah so this is how i do multiple colors you can do like mini batches but <clears throat> i don't know this is how i do it i know there's all different kinds of ways to do bath bombs though so sometimes i wait to add my citric acid i did not obviously do that today i just I just added it. I'm just kind of like, just kind of going wild with it today. Okay, so to this portion, I'm gonna add some red 27, and hopefully it won't turn orange, too orange. Might be a little orangey, but not too bad, hopefully. I'll let that mix up a little bit. Now my recipe can tolerate being out. Um, I could, like if I do like a rainbow one, like I'll probably, I would cover, cause I had a lot of col colors, I would cover the, um, the mix. But if I'm only doing two colors, I don't really need to color cover the mix. It'll be fine. It'll last through the whole molding thing. And uh, I'll add my binder in a second once my red is all mixed in. Very, it looks very orange. We got an orange. Let's see if I can get it red. I'm 
actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add like a little bit of red 27 to it because that'll like pop it up and make it look really orange now, probably is what's gonna happen. Cause it's like a brick red right now, which is okay. That's just, that's like the property of red 27 is that it's kind of like a brick red color, which is just not my like favorite, honestly. And that's how I add my lakes. People ask all the time. I have no problem just putting them in there like that and they mix out and they're fine. So uh, other people say that they can't do that, that they get little specks of color and stuff like that. So it really kind of comes down to your mix. I've seen people mix it with oils and stuff like that first. So it's just really about what works for you. Oh my God, this is like ketchup red. This looks like McDonald's. Like, what was I thinking? Like, this is a good idea. Let's do yellow and red. And then it'll look like ketchup and mustard. And then I'm gonna call it salty. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Hold on, I need a clean towel. I need a clean towel. One that won't show the evidence because it's red already. All right, so I'm going to um, add some binder to my yellow. I use water as my binder. You can use water, you can use witch hazel, you can use rubbing alcohol. Um, I've noticed that people who are in more humid um, environments tend to use water and people who are in drier environments tend to use rubbing alcohol, which seems to be, it goes contrary to what you would think is how it should be, right? But I'm just saying what I've observed. I'm not saying, I don't understand why. I'm just saying that's what I've seen many times. That's what I've noticed. Okay, and then I'm gonna spray some binder straight into my red. Now, the more coloring you add also, like the drier your mix is going to be. So like when I make uh, black bath bombs and they have like a crap ton of colorant in them, I end up needing more binder because they get dry quicker. So it's just something to keep in mind. This also does have, you know, those couple squirts of water that I put in it at the beginning. So I don't want to get too trigger happy with my um with my binder but that's why i was kind of feeling it while the red was mixing i kept feeling that yellow and just kind of seeing where it was at it's very it's nice and dry like i say dry it's probably like 60 percent humidity right now in my little workshop nice and dry that is very dry for me though so all things considered okay so here we go. I'm excited about this. Let's see. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. People, are you guys asking questions? All right. Okay. Whew. All right. Let's get this going. Let's move this over here so you guys can see. So I'm going to take my little mold. Now I could, let's see. Sweet. So we need an S. Give me an S. This is the only thing with it is I'm like, S, <laughs> I found it. So I'm gonna tear my scale out and I'm gonna sprinkle in a little mix, sprinkle in a little mix, sprinkle in a little mix, <laughs> like so, until my mix is, Uh, let's try to get it to four ounces at least. I prefer for my bath bombs to be four ounces. Otherwise, I have to go and change the labels, which I don't like to do. Let's see. Okay, we're pretty close. I'll probably still have to change the labels. And so for any overflow, we, I'm going to use that little bucket to kind of help with like, any overflow. And I'm just going to press it down. That top part comes off just like so. Press this piece up. 
<clears throat> and I keep meaning to do, I know people have asked uh, for vacuum form molds to see that done and I keep meaning to do them and I keep forgetting so I apologize. <gasps> S! You got your S, you got your S. I was not a cheerleader. I don't know if you can tell. That was not me. So, okay. So I'm gonna just transfer this to my little station right here and get my next one. Now, I don't know how many I'll get out of this. That's kind of the thing. But this is kind of cool though because you can make like custom, you could do like custom birthday things and stuff like that. Okay, A, it's <laughs> right on top, yes. Uh, Susan says you're far in far southern, oh, New Mexico, 30%. 30, 30 Susan, Susan, 30% humidity, Susan? No, ma'am. I think it was like 30% humidity over when it froze here in Texas and I could not get my bath bombs to work at all, like they would not work. So, it's just cause it's like not what I'm used to, so. And I don't really care too, too much, like if the mix is getting into each other. I don't know why I was like wiping my hands and stuff like I cared earlier, because, it's just, I just don't. So <laughs> like, I don't know why I was caring so much. Okay, so here's my A. <coughs> Oh, okay, so I'll post, I'll post a, um, I'll post where you can get this. So this is from Chunk of Dust, and she has some other really cool molds, but, um, she has a coupon for 10% off this mold if you're interested in it. So, um, coupon code Robin, apparently, me, that's my name, but you have to spell it right. Sorry. And you know, I don't get upset if you guys spell my name wrong. So just know, that's fine if you spell my name wrong, it's okay. Hey, hey, <laughs> what's up? Um, but you have to spell it right for the coupon. So that's, that's the only thing, like, and I don't care. The reason I don't care is that even my family will spell my name wrong. So like, I've been getting cards from like aunts and uncles for my entire life that have my name spelled wrong. So I don't expect literally anybody else to know how to spell my name. It's totally fine. I'm just saying like for the coupon, you have to spell it right. L, it's the next one. Okay, so I really like the way these are like coming out, like looking pretty fiery. I like that. It almost seems like I should have picked spicy. I might like, do some extra letters at the end in case I decide to make it called spicy instead. S P I C. I need them. I need them to be like a specific length because I'm doing them for a specific thing. So like they have to be a certain number of letters. But it's kind of up to me what it says. So I feel like spicy would also work. Just saying. Um, 40, people saying 42% humidity. I just can't. So I did live, I mean, I lived in Alaska. And when I was in, I was in, um, I was in Fairbanks, which is the interior of Alaska. It's incredibly dry there. And like, number one, I came back to Texas looking like a vampire, like pale. Not the attractive type of pale either. Like the, there's probably something seriously wrong with you. Like, we're sorry for whatever's going on with you medically kind of pale. Like I looked bad. And, um, oh, and um, yeah. So not, number one, I was like super pale, but number two, I was like, 
my my skin and my hair were like so dry just it was brutal like my hair was like hey not like hey <clears throat> no not that kind of hair okay i'm gonna switch and start doing the red first because i don't know i'm probably adding more mix or whatever it's good to like you know switch it up <clears throat> okay and I think that I saw somebody ask what is the what is the um, theme for this so th these are gonna be say salty or spicy oh I gotta get my tea There it is. <laughs> I don't know why I'm bothering with this. There, just get it over with. I just keep doing it anyway, so I might as well just do that. Um, this is like the Sesame Street for bath bombs. <laughs> the letter of the day is H for humidity. I mean, okay, I don't know, you have, you've you probably been watching me, but I haven't been tapping these very much. They just sort of come out pretty easily. You don't really have to tap them too much, so there's that. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, this, like, that's crisp. Just saying, that's real crisp and nice. Uh, tea. <laughs> That's like I'm surprised every time it comes out right. Tea. Oh my god. Okay, S A L T. Why? And then if we have enough, I'll make spicy just in case I decide to go that route with it. You never know. And then maybe I'll do like an exclamation point or an ampersand because you have that. Yeah pretty cool just saying I do think like if I probably used it more I might like be like oh, okay I know the letters which letters on which blocks but I definitely pulled the letters I needed there's three more blocks over there I did not want to be like trying to uh, figure out what block was what too much <sighs> uh, spicy lava cubes yes so, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like we're either doing Jeopardy here. Oh, you could do, wait, Jeopardy, Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune, you could, that would be really cute for like a Wheel of Fortune thing. Just saying. Um, I made, like, so what I did for 2021 is I used the cubes and made it say 2021. And so I sold cubes like that. Um, I originally wanted them so I could make it say love. Aw, because it's cute, right? But I haven't done that yet. So. <laughs> okay, salty. Um, <clears throat> Scrabble. Scrabble is pretty awesome. You could do like a family game night and so you could have like a bunch of different letters. So I think, I feel like little kids would really like this. Like when my, my kids were little, um, they loved, I, I did for my older son. So I took graphic design in college and we had a, a typography course that I took where you had to create your own typeface. And so I chose to do mine to where it looked like it was knit. And so to get the letter forms, I actually knit every letter of the alphabet and my son got to play with them when uh, when I was done and he loved those alphabet letters. Like he played with them forever, 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 ever. Why? That's a question you get asked a lot as a parent. <laughs> okay, so I spelled out salty, zero problems. 
I guess I could add spicy to it. Why not? Let's see. Let's see how far I get. So yeah, guys, if you have any questions, you can feel free to ask them. I will try to answer them if I see them. Um, there's just, you know, I know that there's like a lot of people who are new to making bath bombs. So there's all kinds of questions. So it's like, I, I wanted to do bath bombs today so I could kind of hit on like some basics, like sifting your ingredients, which is important. Um, I wait to add my citric acid because I'm in a humid environment and I find that that helps, but you know, it's up to you how you do that. Um, weighing your ingredients, also very important. How I add my colors, you might have a different way of adding them, but that's how I do it. So I just, you know, this isn't like, this isn't basic bath bomb class, but it is, you know, trying to cover some basics while at the same time showing you this cute mold that I really, it's, it's very cute. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, there's, a, there's the S again. I feel like if I had planned this better, um, I probably could have like written down every letter I was gonna need. And then, and then have just made like two S's at the same time instead of like looking for, going through and looking for what I needed, so just saying feels like that probably like the smarter way to do it just saying oh you know what these would be really cute for it would be like a gender reveal <clears throat> um you could do like you could make it spell baby and then the color could be on the inside or you could just make it say like it's a boy it's a boy and it's it's a boy with an exclamation point and it's a girl are the same number of letters so that that could be cute you know it just would i don't want it to seem like you're less excited that you're having a girl that's the only thing you know but <laughs> yeah you could do that i am very grateful that there are no more babies in my horizon so <laughs> it's not something i would make but <laughs> if you want to make it you could do that here's the p uh these would be awesome as a mother's day gift and spell out best mom oh yeah or even just mom that'd be cute yeah i just like there's like so many different ways you could use them like there's no i don't know i just feel like there's like so much that you could do with them that's just me that's just me I like so when I'm looking for molds number one when I'm looking for mold makers like the mold makers that we have recommended in the files and stuff like that I'm looking for mold makers who have unique molds so I love Kata molds but I'm like there's a lot of dupes of Kata molds out there so like and I know that there's like only so many ways you can make a sphere okay so I'm not like knocking that but there's also like, you know, if you're gonna do an alien, if you're like, if you're a mold maker, you're gonna do an alien head, like do your own, do your own alien head version, you know? Like that's how I feel like it should be. So when I'm looking for mold makers, I'm looking for people who are like kind of just march into the beat of their own drum. They don't, you know, there's doing their own thing. So um, one of the things it, like Chunka does, she has a lot of just kind of different molds that, you know, it's not they're not catered knockoffs they're just different so she has the embed maker and stuff like that so any of the um mold makers that are in the files is like ones that we recommend that's why and i, I need to update it because there are some new mold makers i've tried that i liked but um that's usually why they're up there is because i'm looking for like people who are kind of expanding what we have available to us and kind of doing their own thing um, and then when I look for molds, I try to look for molds that are going to be like the most versatile, like the most versatile molds. And that doesn't mean that like all of them that I choose are like that, right? Sometimes there's only like so far you can go with it, but, um, that is definitely something that I prize. I would say is that like a mold could be used many different ways. It's one of the things I really look for when I'm choosing molds. It's, uh, it's not, I mean, at this point, I have so many molds, I'll probably never be able to use them all. But 
if when I was just starting out and I didn't have a ton of molds, it was like super important for me. If I'm going to make an investment on a mold, I, I want to make sure it's something that can be utilized in a lot of different ways. So that's just, that's just how I look at it. Okay. I need an eye. Where, where do I, where's the eye? I, okay. Oh no, he's in over here. Okay. Oh my God. I just realized, hold on. Q, 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 R, S, T, H, I, J, A, B, C, oh, they're like, they're grouped together according to where they are in the alphabet. So, Yeah, so uh, I just discovered that for you guys. Don't worry, I did that. I found, I figured that out for you guys. So don't worry, if you're trying to figure out where your letters go and you see Q, it probably is where the R and the S are. Oh my God. That was brilliant. That was actually like really funny. Uh, okay. Anyway. Here's my eye right here. <laughs> okay, I hope that I have enough to finish this out. S P I C Y. Yeah, I probably have enough for two more. Okay, yes. I'm glad that you guys are laughing with me on that because this is uh, a. Yeah. It happened. That happened live. You witnessed it. That's why I like. <clears throat> I like literally will never pretend that like I have all the answers or like know all the things. Like I, I, if I know something, I'm pretty confident I know it. I'll be pretty confident with it. But if I'm also proven wrong on it, it also does not surprise me. Like there are very few hills that I will die on because I just, I've been, I've, I have been wrong. And um, as, uh, somebody used to tell me I'm a very dumb smart person sometimes so you know it's like and, it, and it's not it's not even mean it's not even mean because it's true you know when it's like yeah mm-hmm but look at that eye okay two more two more two more we got this spicy see okay spicy seems like it really does fit a lot better actually I think yeah probably should have done that from the beginning all right, let's see, let's see if I can use my new deductive reasoning to figure out where the C is. I bet it's on this one where the B's on front and I can see it. Yeah, I bet that's what that is. What do you know? It is. So there is a, there is rhyme, there is method to this madness. In fact, probably yeah it's probably much simpler you know than anybody else could see um sally says what scent are these um these are salty siren from muddy soap co um i feel like it's possibly i bought like a whole bunch of ocean fragrances because we're going into summer you know and i feel like it's I don't know how to describe it to be honest it's like there's like some woody notes to it um it has has like sort of an oceany thing to it i don't know i wish i could i wish my words were working better and i could describe it better but it's really good it smells amazing i've never soaked with it so i don't know how it does in soap but um for bath bombs it's ballin I've done a couple bath bombs with it so far. I've done a couple bubble bar things with it, and I really liked it. Oh, what am I looking for? S P I C. Oh, uh, wait, yeah. Where did it go? I had it. Oh, there it is. All right. I don't know if I'll have enough. If I don't have enough for the Y, I'm gonna harvest my second S that I did, and. 
probably make another batch later um, and then, you know, have that extra S later. So I could also technically, I mean, like I was pushing to have these be at least four ounces, but I could probably do like, you could do them three and a half ounces. I think it would be fine. You could, I mean, you could do them super thin, like tiles, like Scrabble, like somebody said. So you could definitely get more out of it than I did. And this is also a half batch for me. So keep that in mind. My full size batches normally make like 16 to 12 depending on the weight or the size of the mold, so. Okay, there's my C. Okay, let's try this last, let's see if I have enough for a Y. Y. Oh, if I don't have enough for a Y, instead of Instead of working harder, not smarter, I could just end up harvesting the Y here, like, you know, for the photographs. Y'all almost let me do that, too. Y'all almost let me do that. I'm just saying. Maybe, maybe y'all were saying, like, don't do that, but <laughs> I didn't hear it. Uh, Sasha says, will I be individually wrapping these or boxing these? So... Um, I will shrink wrap them individually, but I'll probably put them together as a, as a single set, a single entity, I guess. Um, I haven't decided yet. They may not even go for sale. They just mean maybe like for display because they're for another theme that I'm working on, so... Yeah, I didn't actually expect to get, I don't know why, I was thinking that the cubes are bigger, but I didn't really expect to get um, two words out of this one. Like I was thinking I was gonna do sweet with that one and salty with this one. So, yeah. See, look at it, I'm gonna have enough to do all the letters. So if you also do yours at four ounces each cube, with a half batch of my recipe, you will have um, enough to do 10 letters, if that helps all you people who are super planners. Not me, but the, those of you who are. Let's see if I can find Y, just by guessing, because there was an X up there at the front that I saw. I feel like I really made a breakthrough with that though. Like, I really feel like I learned a lot about myself, about these cubes. It was a, it was a definite moment, so yeah. Um, yeah, so guys, I will post in the links, um, I will post, or in the thing, I'll post um, links to my recipe if you're interested in my recipe where I get my colorants from the fragrance oil and of course this mold with the coupon code that you need to use um, if you would like to get it at 10% off so it's possible many 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 uses for this mold as people suggested like way more things than I even thought of um, on my own so that's pretty cool um i will probably when these are dry i'm was planning on painting the um the letters like gold so oh i bet these would be cool paint your owns like you could just do abc and do like paint your own alphabet blocks or something like that like there's just so many uses for them as many people suggested in the comments so that is awesome um, if you guys have any questions, make sure to ask, and I will try to answer it if I can. Let me see if I go through really quickly. I don't see, like, any... I think I was able to catch a lot of the comments, but, um... Shh, get off me. I don't really want to, like, touch my phone with my dirty hands. Okay, let's see. Um, yeah, I think that there was... A lot of the questions that I kind of saw, I was able to catch them and see. Um, yeah. 
So guys, uh, thank you for joining today. I hope that you learned at least something. If not, I mean, you learned how to do the letters with me, so that was something that you learned, right? Um, uh, we have stuff in the works. So if you're getting excited, if I, I, if I keep teasing you because of that, um, I'm sorry, but we have some stuff in the works. Um, I'm expecting to be able to make the announcement April 1st. So, there you go. <laughs> That's all I can say about it right now. But we have some like exciting stuff uh, planned for you guys. So, yeah. Um, that's pretty much it for today. Happy making. <laughs>